Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I realised whilst editing I hadn't actually made an intro so I thought I'd do one now. So in this video I'm just doing five simple hairstyles on a toddler. Um, Ivy Louise has really thin hair and also it's quite different lengths all over. So these are the hairstyles which I find the best to do with her hair but it definitely would work um, with like short to longer hair with some of them and some definitely you could do with like really short hair and you could just make it your own. Um, I'll try and explain it the best I can and I try to film it the best I can but with a toddler who was not really wanting to do the video it was a little bit hard but I got her watching some videos on Damon's phone and I think we got there in the end. So I hope you enjoy and I hope this gives you some inspiration for some nice hairstyles for you to wear and for you to do on your child as well. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you, goodbye! So for this I just used my wet brush on Ivy and I also needed two hair bubbles and I used the tiny ones but I actually end up using four on one of the looks so keep an eye out for that one. So to start off with I'm just brushing through her hair, she's got really thin hair so this doesn't take very long and she usually doesn't get many knots which is really good. And then I'm just brushing out all the crumbs which she's got randomly from her cake or something that she had been eating that day. So to start with I'm just going to put her hair into two sections so I'm finding the best I can of the middle of her hair. She's got two cowslicks at the front, so it's quite impossible. And just getting out all these annoying crumbs, thanks for Ivy, just before I was doing my video. <laughs> Here she is just being cute and wondering what the heck I'm actually doing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just trying to part on this the best I can, like I said. And then once I've got two halves, what I'm going to do, try and get some more of the crumbs out. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one half and then just like put it up um, messily just in her hair bubble to keep that one half to it itself and keep it away from the other section. I'm sorry about the camera angling in this video as well. Um, I found it quite hard to show you exactly what I was doing. But for this look I'm going to do two French plaits. So the first thing you need to do is take a triangular section at the front, just a small bit. Um, yeah, and here I am trying to get you a better look. Um, but yeah, take a small triangular section of the hair and split it into three like you would a normal plait. Then you're going to plait it over once, just like a normal plait. So take the middle one and take one side over and then again the other side over. And then what you're going to do is take one little bit of hair from one side, join it with the other side of the hair and then put them both together over the middle section of the hair if that makes sense. And then you'll take the other side, take another section from the inner bit of the hair, add it to the outer bit of the hair and then put it over into the middle. I hope my video is making more sense than I am. I didn't realise how hard this would be to explain it. Um, and now you're literally going to do that over and over again until you've gone down to the length of hair that you wanted to go to. So I only did this to halfway down her hair as I, I'm going to leave the bottom half of her hair down. Once you've finished um, doing the French pack to the part of hair that you want to go to, then you just stop with taking bits from the outside, from the two sides, and then just finish it with a simple, normal plait. Now this is where her random length of hair can get a bit annoying because it gets a bit um, splayed out, but it adds to the rustic look. So here I am just actually doing a plait down until the hair gets to a teensy tiny plait and then I'm just going to get a hair bubble and just tie that at the bottom. So now that side's done, you need to 
tighten it as much as you can flip your child over and do it all again on the other side of her hair so i just take out the hair bobble um, and then make sure it's not knotty at all and start again with the triangle at the top and then just work my way down with the french plait until halfway down the hair And here is the end product. It's obviously a little bit messy as like I say Ivy's got um, quite random hair lengths but I think it looks super pretty and it just keeps the hair all nice and I love French plaits especially on little children but I also love doing it on myself. <laughs> she did not want to look up for that <laughs> but yeah I think it looks lovely. Now for the second hairstyle I'm just going to brush through the plaits that I did. Um, keep the middle parting going because we're going to use that for the next hairstyle too. Um, so first of all I'm going to take all of the hair from one side so even the bottom part as well and I'm going to take all of that up and then get it to just the middle part at the top if that makes sense but here I am just like trying to get the sectioning right. Again it doesn't have to be perfect because they're just children and they'll probably mess it up anyway but I like to get it quite right so here I am just brushing up half of the hair up to quite high onto the top of the head and then I'm going to get the hair bobble and put it into sort of a what I like to call half bun um, and you'll see what I mean in a minute So here I am just taking the hair bubble, I'm going to go through the hair about three or four times with the hair bubble and then on the last time you take the hair but don't pull it through fully. So I'm just going to take it through about halfway and then leave like a little um, bun sort of on the top with the hair at, coming out of the bottom as you can see better than my explaining <laughs> and then I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so it's tight to the hair but it's a bit looser at the top as well I think it looks really cute and then you're going to turn around and do exactly the same again on the other side here's the final product I think it looks really cute it is a little bit wonky but you just never can get it spot on but I think it's just a really simple cute look and I love this one now for the next look you need to take all the hair and put it into one so I'm just brushing through this again but where I put it into a middle part and quite often it's being a bit stubborn but so I'm just gonna take this and put it all into one big high ponytail she was having um, none of it this time she was a bit fed up by this point but here I am just trying to get all her wispy bits of hair and I'm just tying it straight up into a high pony Once that was done I realised it wasn't central at all so I'm just moving it over more to the middle of the hair, tighten it up so it's nice and tight and the hair won't fall out and then what I'm going to do is spin, twizzle the hair around my finger and then spin it all around the hair bubble to make a really cute little ballet style bun. Um, I really like this and I just think it looks really sweet and literally makes her look like a ballerina. So I'm just going to get a hair bobble and just go around the bun a few times and try and get it as tight as I can. And I just think it looks so cute. 
So I annoyingly had my camera at the wrong angle, but this is roughly the finished product if you can kind of see it. But yeah, I think it looks really lovely to slick back and then into like a messy bun. I mean, how cute is that on a little girl? I think that is so cute, but also very cute on a little boy too. This was really annoying as I forgot to press play so I didn't actually get to film this part but I put her hair into two parts again and I just put them into two pigtails and then plaited the pigtails and I think this just looks so cute. I love putting her in this for nursery, um, I think it looks lovely and it just works so well with the different colours of her hair as well. And then the final hairstyle, which didn't film at all, was literally just her hair put into two um, partings. So cut it down the middle, two partings, and then just have two pigtails without the plaits. And that is one of my all-time favourite looks for Ivy. I think it is so cute. But what I also like doing is taking all the hair and doing two, like, big pigtails coming out either side. I think that looks lovely and it's so easy and simple to do. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I actually had a lot of fun filming this one. I love doing her hair and when she lets me, I um, have a lot of fun with doing it. And if I can think up of any more hairstyles, I will put them on my Instagram story for you to watch as well. I hope you enjoyed watching and again, thank you so much for the support and for watching my videos. And I will see you again soon. Um, I hope you have a lovely New Year's and let's hope 2021 brings bigger and better things for us all. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in my next video.